Hello and welcome to a Double Stitch Creations tutorial. Today we're going to be working on Eddie the Baby Orangutan. He's actually one of my larger toys. He's about 13 centimeters tall or five inches. Um, yep, he's one of the first tutorials I'm doing on my larger toys. Um, so I hope you enjoy making him. Super cute. I made him for my nephew, but I thought you guys would enjoy a tutorial on him. All right, let's get started. Okay, what you'll need to make Eddie today is you'll need a bit of um, black yarn and that's just for his eyes and his nose and his mouth. A tiny little bit of white for the catch light in his eyes even though I've got my big ball of white here. You only need a little bit. You'll need some beige for his features like his nose and his eyes, his ears and his hands and you'll need some what you think it would be an orangutan color. I've got this gorgeous sort of a reddish orange mix. It's called Ember Mix. I'll leave a link in the description to the exact bowl that I'm using, but just um, anything that you think is an orangutan color. You also need a 4.5 millimeter hook, some hobby fill. I'm using beautiful eucalyptus fiber hobby fill, but does anything um, works. You also need a tapestry needle. Now because Eddie here is quite thick, you, I recommend you use the metal um, tapestry um, needle. I will link a description uh, in the description below. I will link to all the products that I favour and like using. Um, you also need scissors. And completely optional, but highly recommend. This is a brand new dog brush. I haven't used it on my puppy. I just only use it for my crochet toys. And it works a little bit of magic and makes them nice and fluffy. And I'll show you how to do that at the end. But um, completely optional, but highly recommended um, to make your baby orangutan nice and fluffy. Alrighty, um, what we're going to do, because there's a lot of components and a lot of parts and I'm very mindful of not making the videos too long, we're going to break them up and we're going to do um, part by part. So we're going to start with the eyes, so this is tutorial number one with the eyes and then we'll work on his ears, arms and legs etc and his body and head. Um, alrighty, let's have some fun making Eddie. Okay, I'm just going to put Eddie out of the way now while we start making him a companion. So we're going to start with the beige. Yeah. And now I'm using wool. I'm using eight ply wool. And what we're going to do is we're going to double the yarn. So you want two, two strands of the eight ply yarn. Can be used done in cotton as well. But I'm, so I'm, I'm doubling the yarn. I'm actually using the same ball. I just pull, pull the strand from the center and then this, the starting strain as well and join them together um, but you can have two balls of the same color if you like okay so we're working obviously you need two eyes so to do the first eye we're going to start with a slip knot so I wrap it around my finger twice leaving a tail for weaving in I grab the back loop and I pull it over the front loop and then I grab the end of my yarn again and I wrap it in front of the loop that's still on my finger and I grab the back loop and pull it over the loop that is on my finger and now we've got a slip knot that we can put on our hook and we can loosen or tighten as needed. You can also do the magic circle just do the slip knot for those who are just beginning. Okay, so now from here we're going to chain two. And the way I like to hold my yarn is I, I get my pinky and I turn so that my finger can go on the end here and then my index finger and my thumb come and I lightly hold my work here. And this is our working yarn. It's not tight, but it is this point is keeping it straight. And the closer you hold your work to the crochet hook, the easier it is to work. Okay, we're going to chain two, so you yarn over or you go under the chain, you hook it and you pull it back through the loop on your hook, that's one. Yarn over, 
hook it and pull it back through the loop and hook that's two. We're going to crochet into the second chain from the hook. So here's this is our hook. This this first D shape is our first chain, and this is our second chain from the hook. So hook one, two. You can't crochet into that first one or just undo. You want to crochet into this second one or the bottom chain. And if you just follow the tail through that slip knot and then just pull out that bottom loop of the chain, we'll pull it tighter later. But now you can see where we're going to work. We're going to put six single crochets into this one spot. All right, so turn and go in to that chain space that we just made a bit bigger, yarn over, pull up a loop. So you have two loops in your hook, yarn over and pull through both. So that's your first single crochet. And I'm going to make mine a little tighter. So going, sorry, I redo. Going into that chain space, yarn over, two loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through both. That's your first single crochet into the same chain space, yarn over, pulling it, loop back through, two loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through both. That's two to the same chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through both. That's three, and we want to do three more into the same spot. Four. Five and six and now you can pull it tight and now round two for the eye is we're putting two single crochets into every stitch around until we have 12 stitches so we're going in to the first stitch and I'm putting my hook under with each stitch has a what's called a front loop and a back loop and I'm putting my hook under both Both loops, so I'm going into that first stitch, yarn over, pulling it back through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both. So I'm just doing a single crochet and doing another single crochet into the same stitch. I'm going to put two single crochets into every stitch around. So move three, now I'm doing two, two three, four. I'm putting two into the next stitch. So this will be five and six. Two into the next, seven and eight. Two into the next stitch, nine and 10. Then two in the last stitch for the round, 11 and 12. So that's the first um, eye. Well, we still got to embroider his the embroidery bit on his eye, um, but this is the first bit. So we're going to cut it off leaving a tail so that you can att attach it to the head of your orangutan. Then yarn over and pull that tail all the way through that loop that is on your hook. Okay, so with this one, with the centre bit and the centre tail, pull it tight with your tapestry needle. And then just weave it in and out of the back of your eye, back and forth, just tucking it away and securing it. So just come undone. And once you're happy with that, you can trim it. Doesn't matter if you leave a bit because you're not going to see it. Okay, so now what we want to do is just we're going to work on the black, the black bit of his eye. So grab some black yarn. Again, we are doubling it, or you can just feed it through your needle and just make sure you've got enough. 
and I'll put two strands here. Okay, so I just went through the center, leave a bit of a tail for knotting off later, and then just with the, f the first round, I'm just going to go up to that first round and back to the center. And I'm just going to go, so I'm just using the stitches to go over a stitch and making a little star. You can do this any way you like. And I'm going into the center. And I'm just moving over to the next stitch and I'm just going to do that all the way around. Just keep going all the way around. It will get tight, so you will want a sharp needle here. Once you're pretty happy with it, you can cut. I might just go over that bit here. So just adjust it if you need to. Um, they're all going to come out different and it doesn't matter. It's good. It gives them character. All right. And it's a little bit rusty, but that's okay. I like it. All right. So once you're pretty happy with that, you just trim it. Now you can knot these two strands together. I always do about three knots, but that's completely up to you. All right, now it's right. And don't worry about that because you won't see it once you sew it. Now, grab some white yarn. Right. Some, once more, I'm doubling it. I just um, probably don't need as long this time because it's, we're only really going to go through a couple of times. Just that long enough so you can knot it at the end. Hmm. So we're just going to make, uh, um, if you can see, that little white catch light in his eyes. So you just pick, just put it in. You're leaving a tail and just going you can fit it into the center. And I might do it again to make sure it stands out. And now you can these two strands 
strands together. So that completes the first eye. So just clean that. So go ahead and make the second eye, and I will get. Okay, here we have his two eyes ready to go when we need it. Um, so just put them aside for now. And in the next tutorial, we will work on Eddie's ears. And we'll just start building him um, bit by bit. All right, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.